the other thing is that I've done, and this is a big announcement, I've bought a Welcome to this week's bonus video. This week's video is a bonus extra video, Friday upload double whammy, where I've uploaded my Bergen racing, running 10 mile hike with my heavy backpack, 45 pound backpack that I packed last week. This week's video, main video, is me running, shuffling, hiking, 10 miles with that Bergen, fully packed. So doing a tabbing challenge isn't the most sensiblest of ideas. But this video I'm making now, I'm gonna upload alongside it, which makes Friday's upload a double whammy because I'm gonna share my view of these bad boys. The Zwift Play. Last week was my birthday, I turned 44. Can you believe I turned 44 years old? For my birthday, my girls, Tracy and my two daughters, bought me the Zwift Play. They know how much I love Zwift, they know how much I love Zwifting on, well, racing on Zwift. So they thought these, I've been banging on about these for a while, they have absolutely no idea what they do. They don't care what they do. It's just that I've been banging on about them, so they bought them for me. And today's video is me testing them out, giving them a quick run for their money, seeing what they're like, um, having a play around with them, really. My family bought me a gift, so today's video is gonna be about that gift. I wasn't planning to make a video about this. So this is the first time of opening the box. It is Zwift Play. That's what we're gonna play with today on Zwift. So I've never used this before. I've heard a lot about it. I've got to be honest, I don't even know if it properly straps on to the Watt bike. I think it does. So, these are the controllers. Controller one. Controller two, I think these are extenders or, or things that make them stay on the handlebars easier if it's uh, misaligned. And then obviously some kind of charging cable. Uh, on hindsight, I probably should have charged this up. There's no indicator to say what percentage they're on. I'm hoping there's some factory charging them. I'm just gonna go for it and connect them to the bike. This is the right one. And then I'm gonna put this obviously on here and then obviously the left one on the left one. So that's the right one on. I'm just gonna quickly put the left one on. Okay. Got that connecting. So I've got two plug and plays. So one, two. Oh, vibrates. Welcome to Swift Play, get started. Navigate with ease. So use these, okay. I'm gonna have a race today, I'm gonna to give it a go. I've never used them before, so this is gonna be first time ever. Right, I'm gonna take this off, take my jumper off. Two seconds, I'll be back with you. All right, this is what I'm dealing with. I'm having to complete this tutorial. I've got my camera going, I've got the Zwift uh, plays connected, and I'm just gonna complete this tutorial now. Okay, right, I'm screen recording now. So I've pressed the navigation buttons, which are these ones here. Press A, uh, press B to go back. So A to proceed, B to go back. Uh, tilt the paddle on the right controller. Where's the paddle? Oh, this is the paddle, is it? Hang on, how do I tilt that? So that's the steering. And then if I do it on this side, it moves the screen on. <laughs> So these are the these paddles steer me. These obviously let me select, uh, let me proceed by using it as a mouse. And then these obviously are the select and back and right. Okay, good. Continue. What was continue again? A. All right. So then I can use this to navigate. Ah, oh, that's cool. Down. Repack. Rush. Is that the game where you get to use the Swift Plus? Try that. Let's try the game. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Okay, boost your speed by cycling over the blue, pick up bonus time and avoid the red. Right, I can do that. Right, let's see how we get on. Right, I'm just gonna increase my gears. Okay, so increase time. Oh, wow. Okay, so the outside paddles move me quite vigorously, I'm assuming I will miss that one. I'm assuming I can use the sensitivities to change it. So when you steer in a certain direction, 
the game brings you back into the middle the faster you go. So as you can see there, look, it's moving me around the middle. So even if I want to, I can't really go too far over to the side. It doesn't feel like it anyway. Ah, see, I'm forcing myself if I can, to go over to the right, it's forcing me back into the middle. Oh my God, this is so boring. Right, I'm gonna exit this game. How'd you exit? Back, is it back? Exit, right, I'm gonna leave this game because it's dead boring. I'm gonna have a race. I found a race, uh, Evo CC Crit Racing, and it's on the Bell Lap. So reverse of the Downtown Dolphin, which seems like a really good tester. I've got six minutes until the race starts. So the other thing that I forgot to mention at the start of this video is that I now weigh under 98 kg. I had a recent weight loss uh, weighing. I finally pulled my finger out and bought myself some scales and I've weighed myself. I now weigh 97.8 kg. Really thrilled to say that I'm now under 100 kg. I've already updated my, if I show you, 97. Oh, hang on, bike, frame. What bike am I on? A Monda, I'm on the wrong bike, air road. I need to change my bike back, oh my God. <laughs> so back on the Canyon and then the DT Swiss. I'm hoping that makes a difference in this race. I'm hoping I don't mess up these controls too badly. Three, two, one. Okay. Let's go. Into the draft. Huh. These aren't as sensitive as I thought they'd be. Maybe I can increase sensitivity. Okay, I'm out of practice. I haven't been on the Zwift bike for about two or three weeks. I'm out of the draft. It keeps trying to pull me. I need to get used to it because I press it and not a lot happens. So I do it harder and obviously I then zoom across out of the draft. Like I'm holding it down there and I wasn't moving. So I can't seem to get in the middle. Let me turn the sensitivity down. I just want to be in the middle there. Like it seems to be pulling me across the screen. There we go, that's where I want to be. Nobody seems to be <laughs> going for it. This seems like the perfect race to try these out. I'm just trying to stay in the draft as best I can. I do have a power up, so I'll use it just before the finish line. We're just coming up to the end of lap one. So far, so good. Press Y. Ah, oh, it works. I'm not, I don't know why I'm surprised. Yeah, massively impressed with this. It kind of makes the need for the companion app less as well, which, you know, be interested to see how Zwift kind of make the companion app more relevant when racing. You know, the main reason I used it was for power-ups. Now that I can press Y on here, yeah, I'm wondering how that will play out. We're in lap three. Yeah, so these guys are taking it suspiciously easy. I'm going to enjoy the air up. There we go. Press Y. This is hard hitting technology review. Okay, it's just moving. Oh. Moving to the middle. So the right one doesn't seem as sensitive. Uh, I'm not sure whether moving it up makes any difference. It's interesting because it, it, it forces you back into the kind of where the game wants you to be. Um, after you've moved it. I suppose they can't start keeping an eye out for any breaks people were trying to make. I don't know what's going on really, they're not really pushing this. I may as well use the feather on the climb. Okay, I've done a bit of bobbing and weaving and it does seem to be, you know, as responsive as as I suppose I'd expect. I mean, you wouldn't ride a bike like this in a race anyway, weaving around. Um, I just need to get used to it. I've never had steering before, and it's easy just to kind of switch off to that and let the, the game do the work for you. I suppose 
I am pleased that the game doesn't let me, you know, zoom off to the other side of the of the road because I've forgotten to use the paddles. It does kind of keep you in lane. Um, it just, I suppose, these are used to finesse, take the racing line around corners. So we're about to cross the line for the one, two, three, fourth time. We're halfway. That's the fifth time, if you include the leading. Now we're over halfway. It'd be interesting to see if anyone goes for it. I've realised I've made a slight mistake in pushing this up too high. This controller here is uh, impeding my gear changes. So when I drop down a gear, it, uh, it's not quite registering because I think the button's slightly depressed with the uh, just play on it so I just need to move that down I'm not going to do it now oh he's gone I was sleeping It won't allow me to move over. I'm trying to look, I'm pulling it. Pull, go over. I can't turn that corner. This dude's fast. He just won't allow me to go to the left. I don't know why. I'm gonna cut that corner off. I'm not gonna catch him. I'm going to put the fan on though. He went too quick for me. He done well. Oh my god. I'm out of practice. Oh. Out of practice. Let me turn the fan off. I stay in my barnet. I think I'm fucked. I don't think I'm allowed to move too far over. I don't know whether that's just me or the computer, the software stopping me, cutting corners. Um, I suppose it makes sense because that would be really annoying. But then, in a real race, they'd be cutting corners anyway, I'm sure. If you was allowed, I mean, the barriers on the left and the right, I'm, you know, as long as you stay within them, surely you'll be able to cut corners. As in, clip across them rather than go around the outside. Anyway, really good. 
I'll be interested. I'll be interested to see how these play out in a larger field on a longer race if they make a, a, a bigger difference. But a small crit race on downtown Dolphin, that was really good. That guy went with two laps to go. Fair play to him. If I'd have seen him earlier, I should have watched him. I could have stuck with him. He did well there. Or she. Right, I'm gonna have a shower. I actually came in second in that race. There was five of us racing. We got up to the second to last lap while I was practicing with these. I got kind of caught off guard and the guy went for it. Oh, he's gone. He went for a breakaway. I tried to ch uh, chase him down. Didn't quite manage to do that, but I'm thrilled to have come in second. I will say, in my defense, I haven't raced on Zwift now for about two or three weeks because I've been training for other running events. If my numbers were anywhere near my numbers two or three weeks ago, I think I would have won that. But, you know, that's just bravado talking. Fair play to the guy or lady that won. Um, yeah, you, you smashed it. You, you went for a breakaway in the second to last lap and you held it, fair play. I can't complain about that. I did try and chase you down. I just didn't have it in me. Two weeks ago though, I would have. But anyway, that aside, Am I pleased I've got these? 100%. What do I think? Now that I've finished that race, that race was an hour ago. I've had a shower, hence the wet hair. And I thought I'd jump straight onto camera and give my views while it's fresh in my mind. What do I think of them? Overall, I think they're really, really good. If I was to score them out of 10 for build quality um, and usability and convenience, I'd give them an eight or nine out of 10. For actual purpose or what they're made for, I think at the moment they sit around five or six. The reason why they sit around five or six is because from what I can see they're gonna do for me from a racing perspective is allow me to choose my power-ups. I've got less chance of forgetting and they also allow me to steer. So I can use these to steer. But as you could see from the video, I was struggling to find that perfect racing line with the steering. I thought the steering would be a little bit more intuitive. I did struggle with it. I think that's gonna come down to practice. I think the more I do it, the easier it's gonna be. I also thought that the feedback in actually using the buttons, I thought could have been slightly better. Um, what I mean by that is these have obviously been made for the PlayStation generation. People that use Zwift do so as much for the fun aspect as for the fitness. I find Zwift caught my imagination from a fun perspective and it also allowed me to stay fit, work on my fitness levels, train for my running events and it gave me my competitive boost, it gave me my uh, hit of adrenaline on a weekly or daily basis. That's what these have been made for, they've been made for that purpose, like how you jump onto a PlayStation and have a, you know, a game of Call of Duty with your controller and the controllers have been made to give you immediate feedback with the vibrations and the way the buttons work. That's what these are for. These are for immediate gratification on the bike. Also, it's not realistic because when you cycle on a bike, I'm not a cyclist, but when you cycle on a bike, you, I'm pretty sure you don't steer like this. I'd like to have seen these give me a bit more feedback like on a PlayStation controller. I'd like to have felt that when I steered, these kind of gave me feedback. It's hard to explain. If you play with a PlayStation controller or an Xbox controller, you know exactly what I mean. When you depress them, you feel something push back against you. Whereas when I depress these, when I'm steering, I don't know whether it's working. I have to wait for my avatar to respond and then it moves across the screen. And there were some occasions where my avatar was fighting back. So it was stopping me moving. That's obviously the software. I was obviously doing something I shouldn't have been doing. Maybe it wasn't allowing me to move across the field of, uh, of the other cyclists, I don't know. It keeps trying to pull me. I press it and not a lot happens. So I do it harder and obviously I then zoom across out of the draft. Like I'm holding it down there and I wasn't moving. But there was an instance where I was on my own after someone in the race had a breakaway. I was trying to chase them down and I was trying to cut across a corner to save on a few milliseconds, which makes all the difference in a race. There's been many a time I've watched other Zwifters race with the steering ability and they've won literally by a nose or a wheel because they've gone across the corner rather than staying in the middle of the road. It won't allow me to move over. I'm trying to look, I'm pulling it. And the fact that the, the game didn't allow me to do that, I'm not sure what the cause of that was when, when I was pressing these. But yeah, it will come with time, I'm sure. The more I practice, the easier they'll get. 
Am I pleased I've got them? 100%. They're gonna make it easier for me. They're gonna make, I'm gonna look forward to learning about the new steering mechanism. I did play the Zwift Play game. There's an in-game um, racing game on Zwift that you can use to practice with these. Oh my God, this is so boring. Exit this game. Kind of does like a Sonic the Hedgehog style, running over things, gives you a boost, collecting icons that give you more time to keep going. I got really bored <laughs> of doing that, if I'm honest. So I moved on and had a race on the Bell Lap, 12 laps of the Bell Lap, um, which is the reverse of the Downtown Dolphin. They cost, how much do they cost? These were a gift. I think they cost about 99 pounds at the moment. I'm pretty sure they're gonna go down. I know you can get secondhand ones on eBay, what have you, but I'm not sure whether I'd want secondhand versions of these considering that I've used them once and I already covered them in with sweaty hands. So yeah, I've had them from box, brand new, and are they worth 99 pounds? Yes and no, you know, they're gonna make life easier. It kind of removes the need for me to use the companion app now other than messaging. I can use these for everything else. One thing I am really impressed with, massive positive, the build quality is really, really good. It's easy to wash down. I've given these a once over with a, with a wet wipe and they've come up as good as gold. They're obviously water resistant or waterproof to a certain level. I wouldn't dunk them in a bucket of water, but they're definitely sweat proof. You can see that. Um, and yeah, they're, they're really easy to attach to the bike. When I set these up, I was worried that A, they wouldn't fit my Watt bike and because I didn't do any research as they were a gift. And B, I was worried that once they were on my Watt bike, they'd move around because I'm quite clumsy with my, with my gestures, with, with selecting things with my hand. Um, and they haven't moved at all to the point where they were on so tight and so robustly that one of them was slightly covering my gear change button. I've realized I've made a slight mistake in pushing this up too high. This controller here is uh, impeding my gear changes. So when I drop down a gear, it, uh, it's not quite registering because I think the button's slightly depressed. The other thing is that I've done, and this is a big announcement, I've bought a real bike. I've bought a real bike. I have London to Brighton coming up in the summer, only in a few months. And I have bought a bike that's being delivered in the next week or so, which is gonna be featured in a future video. I'm not gonna share any more about what bike I've bought because I guarantee whatever bike I've bought is the wrong one, but I don't know what I'm doing. I've bought a bike based off of quite a lot of research and recommendations from people in the Zwift community. Um, and I've gone for it. I've just bit the bullet and I bought a bike. It is a gravel bike, I'm gonna share that because I have a lot of footpaths around where I live and I don't wanna be restricted to just riding on B roads. So yeah, I bought a gravel bike because it feels a bit more multi-purpose, especially with two young teenage daughters who I hope, fingers crossed, will come out cycling with me, but I've bought a bike and that will feature in a future video. Thank you for watching this video. If you saw value in it, please consider subscribing. If you didn't see value, well, I thank you for waiting this long into the video before making that decision and maybe subscribe anyway. See you in next week's video, which is gonna be really, really good. It's not gonna be the bike one, by the way. That's probably gonna be the week after. I'm not sure yet whenever it's delivered, I will make that video. Thank you for watching this one. See you in the next one. <sighs> Cheers, guys. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this in as a bonus. I might put this in as a bonus video because it's only a quick one. So we'll see, we'll see how we get on. Might be a, might be a midweek bonus video. This might be a weekend bonus video. <sighs> Thanks for watching.